Good morning and welcome to another Monday of Making It Work. This week, let's get right into it. I It is about uh, 5 after 5 in the morning. I'm going to work at 6 this morning. On Mondays it'll be 6 o'clock. The rest of the week it'll be 8. So, I'm a little loopy this morning. <laughs> Wish I had some coffee about right now. Um, anyway, for my brows this week, I am using the uh, Pacific uh, Natural Mineral Stunning Brows Eyebrow Gloss and Set. And it is in Golden Brown. And it's pretty dry. Um, you know, the, the wand looks sort of like the Anastasia from last week. You know, the, the shape of the the spoolie and stuff but it's really dry um, I have to work a little bit to get the stuff on there and I haven't had this very long either and it's pretty dry I'll dye primer as usual um, Jordana Rock and Rose lip liner as usual uh, Vivid Rev Makeup Revolutions Vivid Baked Highlighter in peach lights and it is really pretty it is really a pretty blush and it looks nice on the cheeks too um, I have one cargo blush and I decided to use that I must have got this in a box or something and it's called Coronado and that's kind of a peachy looking blush also For my, um, excuse me, for my um, mascara, I'm using the Carbo Texas Lash Mascara, and this is, I can't see a color on here, but it's pretty black, and it looks like this, and I don't know what I think about this yet. Um, it is very dry. It is did nothing for my lashes this morning. Um, I have 10 other, 20 other mascaras that work way better than this one does. So, first impressions okay, for my eye palette this week. I am using the Cargo Vintage Escapes palette. And I got this on recommendations of Zelma from Zelma and, L and Lissa. And because she had gotten it and used it and I thought it was so pretty and it was such a great deal at the time and I think that mascara came with it I can't remember for sure but I've had this for months and this is the first time I've used it gotta say I'm pretty impressed um, I used this for my base this morning I used this for my transition which will probably be all week and I used this color for my eyes for my lids today and those are harvest moon for my base uh, autumn no wait hot cocoa for my uh, transition and cuddle for my eyelids but isn't that a pretty palette really pretty and I'm kind of excited to get going on this um, the first look it's not powdery um, that was the first thing I noticed and no no kickback when I put it on my eyes uh, I had to work a little bit to, to get it you know it it's not as pigmented as I would like the first time I'm using it but it the colors are gorgeous after it gets going and I really like it because it's got um, this mag it's magnetic here that opens Okay, for my lipstick, it's a uh, Urban Decay kind of week for my lipsticks. So this is um, Back Talk by Urban Decay. And it's one of their new Vice lipsticks. This is what it looks like. And it is beautiful. I absolutely love this lipstick. I don't know why I don't wear it more often. Um, I've got too many lipsticks. That's the problem. And I kind of go in a rotation of my lipsticks. So... Um, I need to get rid of a bunch of lipsticks. I really do. Or 
start using the ones I have a lot more often. So anyway, I will let you know how this morning went. I've got, I'm there um, an hour before anybody else. Well, there's one person there before me, the cook, and she is a real, uh, she is the one, she's a New Yorker, and I'm sorry, my New York friends, but she has got the typical or the stereotypical New York attitude. Uh, what, you know, you used to always hear, you know, how rude New Yorkers are and stuff, which I really don't think is the case anymore because I've met a bunch of New Yorkers and they're not like that. But she's got the New York accent, you know, that kind of stuff, or the, the Brooklyn accent maybe. And... Um, She's very rude. She's very outspoken. She's very loud. Uh, she took a dislike to me the minute she met me. And she's not afraid to show it. I don't know what I did. Maybe it's the way I look. Maybe it's the way I walk. Maybe it's the way I talk. I don't know. But she... I do not like this woman. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to work with her the first hour. Well, we're in separate rooms, but still. I had it out with her a little bit this weekend on Facebook, so. We'll see. I'll talk to you in the morning. Morning. Bye -bye. This is Tuesday, and welcome to the day. Uh, yesterday was a really long day, but I made it. I worked 10 hours. Went in at 6, uh, got all my sandwiches for the ball players done, and all my sandwiches for our coffee shop, and did my prep for my salad bar, and it was just a crazy morning, but I got everything done. Um, I was in no rush ever, you know, but I just worked steady all day long. Ended up having to make... Uh, 25 more sandwiches that after or yesterday afternoon uh, a little surprise from one of the coaches came and asked for 25 sandwiches so <laughs> I just love those those uh, impromptu will you do this for me kind of stuff you know but we got it done and I worked like I said, 10 hours, and, and I'm going to do that every single Monday, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fine. So, on my eyes today, I wore the Cargo Vintage Escape Eye Palette, and it's like a leather, full leather cover. It's very nice. And today I wore, let's see, Harvest Moon for my base. I... I switched it up a little bit and used Autumn for my eye transition today. And I use Frolic for my eyeshadow today. And it is a little dark, but it'll work out fine. I really like it. Okay, and for my lipstick today, um, I used another Urban Decay Vice lipstick. And this one is Trance. It's the only two... Vice, the new Vice lipsticks that I have. These were on say like for seventeen dollars. I don't know if that is a normal price or if it was a special price at that time. I'm not real sure, but it's a very pretty lipstick. I like those two. They're they're a little similar, you know, but it's what I'm attracted to. So I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye -bye. Good morning and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Making It Work. This week I'm using the Cargo Vintage Escape palette. Very pretty brown uh, faux leather cover. Very rich looking. Uh, Harvest Moon is my base this week. I went back to the Hot Cocoa today for my... Um, transition and then I used cinnamon today and I really thought this was going to be kind of a just a gold color you know like a deep gold but it's so it's like it's a burnished gold it's absolutely beautiful just gorgeous color on on my eyes I love it 
Okay, and then on my lips, I'm using my only Kat Von D lipstick that I have full size. And it is Lovecraft. Pretty, it's matte. It's pretty dry going on. But um, it is absolutely gorgeous. It was worth worth every second of putting it on. It's gorgeous. I love this lipstick. I don't know why I don't use them more often. I really need to. I need to get rid of some of my older lipsticks so I can use these beautiful lip products that I have. So anyway, this is Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. And this week I am wearing my Cargo uh, uh, Vintage Escape. I don't know why I can't remember that. And I'm using Harvest Moon for my base. I used Autumn for my base today. And I wore Withered Leaves on my eyes today. It is the green shade. It's really a pretty green. I, I like it. I'm pretty happy with it. And on my lips today, I wore an older um, Urban Decay. And this is Matte Bittersweet. And it was really, really in your face bright when I first put it on. So I really patted it quite a few times. That's why around my mouth looks a little red. I had to clean, do some cleanup. very pretty but it's a little bright to where to work so I had to tone it down a little bit it still looks pretty good though so anyway I'm very tired this week is I have been sleeping rotten this week um, I w last night I woke up at 1230 I woke up at 230 and I woke up at 430 and then I got up at 6.30. And then it takes me a while to go back to sleep. I, I usually, you know, if I wake up when I roll over or whatever, I go right back to sleep. But this time, it's taken me, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes to go to sleep. I don't know. It seems like a long time, but it might not be that long. But anyway, it, it's not a very restful sleep. It's, but I had a really rotten day at work yesterday. They just piled and piled and piled stuff on me where I was a frazzled mess, and I've still got tons to do this morning that I have didn't wasn't able to finish yesterday. So, so anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, Bye. everybody. Welcome to Friday. Thank God it's Friday. It has been a horrendous long week. I don't know why, it's just I've had so many sandwiches to make, and I'm sick of sandwiches. <laughs> and I've just been so busy all week, I haven't had time to even think for myself. So anyway, well, and that's good because it does make the day go faster, but it still seems like such a long week. Anyway, to get into what I'm wearing this week, I'm going to... Um, tell you about two products that I am not crazy about first. First one is the Pacifica Natural Minerals Stunning Brows Eyebrow Gloss and Set in Golden Brown. This is going into the garbage as soon as I take the thumbnail. I hate it. I absolutely, I can say I hate this. It is, uh, very dry. First of all, let me bring this out and show you the wand. Can you see it looks really dry, but yet look at the end, how clumpy it looks. Well, I always wipe that off, but um, it is dry and clumpy and it is hard to remove when, you know, it takes me a long time to do my brows in the morning because this should be, using this should be easy. And it's not with this. I hate this. 
Um, for those of you that like it and have this, I'm sorry, that is my opinion. But this, I would never, ever, ever buy this again. Okay, the next thing is, surprisingly, a Cargo Texas Lash, Ma Texas Lash Mascara. And it says MV Maximum Volume, which is a lie. Um, for those of you that love this, I'm sorry. I don't hate it. I'm going to continue to use this. But it is one of my least favorite mascaras. It The wand works just fine. It coats my lashes like it's supposed to. It's got a wand that I like, but it does nothing for my lashes except for sit on my lashes. It coats my lashes. That's all it does. It doesn't volumize. It doesn't lengthen. Um, but I, like I said, I will continue to use this. All right. Uh, the next thing is my Jordana Easy Liner in Rock and Rose. I've used this all week long. I'm getting very used to using a lip liner, so I'm getting to like it. My blush is another cargo um, in Coronado. And it's fine. You know, it's nothing to call home to mama about, but it's fine. My uh, highlighter, though, this week is in uh, Makeup Revolution, and it's in Vivid. And this is an awesome highlighter. Uh, compared to their highlighter set that I have, which I'm not crazy about, this one's awesome. This is it. Very nice. Okay, so for my eye makeup this week, I use the Cargo Vintage Escape. Uh, eye palette and first of all it it looks luxurious it feels luxurious it feels like leather it's full leather I'm sure it is got some weight to it comes with a brush which I didn't use this week the brush is um, got like so you can line your eyes and then it's got the flat for packing on mask or packing on this stuff. Okay, so this week I used um, Harvest Moon for my base. I used that all week long, and then I went between these two all week for my transition. And today I used Hot Cocoa and Rustic for my eyelids. Oh my God, I am so in love with this palette. I love this palette. It has got the most beautiful colors. Rustic is like a, a bronzy brown. It is beautiful. A little dark for work, but I don't care. But it's got the most beautiful colors in it. I recommend this highly. There is hardly any powder when you go. I mean, there's a little. You know, there's a little on every single palette. But it's not overly powdery. It's very pigmented. Um, the Harvest Moon, I have to go in a couple of times to cover my lid. I really recommend this palette. I don't know if it was limited edition. I don't know if it's on their permanent line. I did not check. But anyway, um, it was kind of an urban decay for my lips this week. The, except for the Kat Von D that I wore on Wednesday. But um, I have four urban decays. And so I wore them all this week. This is one of their older packaging. And this is Rush. I believe Rush. Yes. And it's beautiful. I love, love, love this lipstick. So pretty. And all my Urban Decays are awesome. And so is my Kat Von D. The Urban Decay I wore yesterday in the black case was... The one that I had the most trouble with. Only because it's dark. And I didn't want it so bright or dark. So I had to pat it a lot. And it wasn't... It was the least comfortable on my lips. The rest of them... Because this is a matte. And so it was... Um, it, it just was the least comfortable on my lips this week. But otherwise, I loved them all. 
So that, oh yeah, and I wore my Ulta eye primer, of course. That is my week. Talk to you later. See you Monday. Bye-bye.